because it's only the 11. <laughs> for those 90 minutes. No, I thought the the, the character, the, fan, the player showed um, energy, the, the the ugly side of the game, if you like, especially the second half. I thought we were fantastic. Um, Fed in the box really well. Um, Connor Hazard made some really good saves. Defenders blocking shots. Heading balls out. Um, showed a real desire to get on the game today. So I'm delighted with the performance today because um, I felt I think early on they get the goal, which we knew was a threat. They, you know, QPR scored a similar goal against Sheffield United um, as well, and we didn't deal deal that well enough. We prepared for that and didn't deal it well enough. Um, and then I felt from there we really got control of the game and um, took the ball away from QPR, started moving it, creating some really good opportunities in the final third with our attacking players, and then get the equaliser, and then. Um, immediately go to ten men, and um, of course she knows it's a it's a silly tackle, um, especially when you're on the yellow card. So no complaints with with that one. Um, and then I thought we were very unlucky with quite a few decisions today. Um, thought the we should have had a penalty. Um, the their defenders pulled our player back and spun him round, um, and then. I think the referee was going to give it to Lance and told him not to. So I would have liked the Lance to get involved a little bit more with quite a few decisions there, actually, which unfortunately never. And Freddie's red card, I'm not sure. Um, I haven't seen too many angles of it, but to me, it looked like it's had to pull out. Pull out. So um, I might be wrong on that one. If I am, I don't mind for that. But um, for me, it didn't look like a red card. So disappointed with decisions, but delighted with the performance and the character of the play shown. What? Yeah, well, we knew we had to dig in because QPR, um, you know, after analysing, they put a lot of balls in the box. Um, second half, they obviously go with two strikers. Um, so we knew balls were going to come in the box and um, we went with a 4-4-1. So I had to st still stop crosses, but um, we struggled to stop the amount of crosses which were coming in. Um, but then we showed a real desire to go and head the ball and put our bodies on the line. Um, from that point of view, so I don't think tactically it was... Um, it was anything special tactically when we went to 10 men. I think that credit goes to the players, not not to me and not my coaches. That goes to the players because um, under diff difficult circumstances and you know difficult moments we had, they, they stood up and, and showed um, the passion that I want, I want to see in the team. And you've already touched on it a bit, but what do you think the side did differently to that? Um, what, what was, it, was it just mental? No, I think um, because I was really pleased with the performance um, first half, really, even when we had 10 men, I thought we still took the ball as, at times as well. I was really pleased that we were brave to take the ball. We were playing some really good stuff. We were moving the ball. It was difficult for QPR. We started, then Bele caused us problems early on, but then I, I felt we got to grips with that a little bit better and then took the ball away. And so I was really pleased with both sides of the game, the first half and, and second half. We knew it was going to be tough, it was going to be a battle. And um, So everything we did in Joe and Sheffield Wednesday we showed today, um, show what a good team we can be. Um, but ultimately, what's got us the point today is the players willing to do the ugly stuff and, and that's us, I think, winning every game. How much confidence did you take from that performance today? Yeah, of course. You, I think the last three games, obviously, I think Tull felt we deserved to win the game. Today we've battled to get a point in the end. Um, so the last three games, we've been winning a cup against Sheldon. And the reaction since Sheffield Wednesday has, has been really good. So we've got another tough game coming Tuesday um, against Watford in the cup. So um, I think the lads are in a good place. And um, yeah, we'll keep going and prepare and rest and make sure we're ready for Tuesday. And just finally on that note, that game on Tuesday, how did how did the priorities compare afterwards? Yeah, well, I think we're fortunate now that with the players I've brought in, I think we've got a very good squad. So I think we've got players who are capable of coming in. Um, and obviously, I've I've got an idea of what I want to do Tuesday for. I think um, the important thing now is a lot of players have played 
a long time with 10 men. Today we have to see how they um, recover the output they've had in the game today and, and evaluate them and, and see whether um, they're ready to go again on Tuesday. Just one more for me. I know you weren't here last season, but last season there was a big, big disparity we all know about the home and the away form. The home table, our goal ended up 11 and the away table would, would have been relegated. How do you try and cope that gap and improve the away form? Because you did games like today that you did a sort of building block from that. Yeah, I think today is a bit different in terms of, as I said, with the circumstances, but um, I want to be a team who handles the ball well and, and tries to control games. And um, I think we've just gradually seen that more and more. And of course, it, it takes a bit of time as well, but um, away form is really important. And if we keep doing, you know, perform like we did today, I think we'll be fine from that point of view. And, this league is tough. It's difficult to win away from home. It's, it's every game is a difficult game, so it's it's about your your focus, concentration, um, and the character. I think squad. We've got a bigger squad than what was here last season. More quality than what was here last season. So um, we're doing everything we can to give ourselves a better chance to get more points away from. Chris, on the B penalty thing, I, I, it did look as though the referee was about to blow his whistle. So who told you that the linesman had? Um... Sort of um, players told me said the referee was going to give him the linesman. We spoke to him and told him not to. Apparently, the linesman said that we both pull him. Um, but I felt that uh, Cornell got the wrong side of, of the defender and he'd been dragged back and spun around. Um, so what's frustrating is we had a meeting about four weeks ago with all the managers um, and the referees, um, and this was highlighted. This exact situation was highlighted and. We were told this without a shadow of doubt is a penalty. So that was four weeks old. So I don't see why that changes now. And I've got different rule changes within the game. Um, but that's what frustrates you. And I thought I have to say I thought the fourth official was really good. Um speaking to me and of course emotionally I felt there was a lot of decisions and um, sometimes you lose your temper a little bit. Um but the fourth official board thought he handled that really well. Um Today and he agreed with a lot of the stuff I was saying. He agreed with the decisions in which I I felt were fouled. He agreed with that, so that's why it's frustrating the um, the man in the middle or the linesman can't see what we're seeing me myself and the fourth official seeing. You signed a goalkeeper yesterday, and Connor has it to come up with a really big performance for you today. You must be delighted with his performance and the way he's responded to the presence of a new keeper in the squad. Yeah, delighted um, because of course. Um, how we're trying to improve the squad. Um, I want to create a real competition for places. Um, obviously, Dan came in yesterday and um, he, he went available. Um, he didn't get the paperwork back in time for Tottenham, Dan available today. Um, and Connor's you know, shown what a really good goalkeeper he is and some fantastic save right from the first minute to, to the end. So, I'm um, very pleased with his performance. In the past, there's been comments about his distribution of the ball with his feet. I, I, I thought he looked very good with the ball at his feet today. Is it, has, has there been much work done on that aspect of his game? There, there has, of course, and it's you know, something we, as I said, we want to take the ball, a goalkeeper, and in many teams now are really important in in being that, you know, starting it off in, in that process of playing football. And um, so we do a lot of work with the goalkeepers on that. Um, I think also the, the way we want to play, sometimes maybe now the, the options, he's got more options to play play the ball as well. So, yeah, I think for me, since I've come into the football club, being pleased with him and with the ball, and this is something I got told as well um, about Connor um, by by some people, um, not, not at the club, but some people would tell me that about him, but I think he's been really good. Paul Gomez has scored a terrific goal. We, we've seen lots of those for our goal. During his time at the club, it's his first one in ten championship matches going back to March. Um, firstly, what about the quality of his strike, but also the fact that he's got that goal, and hopefully that will do him a world of good. Yeah, I think he probably needed it. I think, and as you said, um, the end of last season, and then um, obviously the, they're only three games in. But um, I said after last game, I was very pleased with his work rate. Um, and sometimes when you go on a run without scoring goals. Um, it can affect you a little bit, um, but no, I was delighted. A great strike. It's that's Morgan all over. He can, we know he can do that. And um, really important goal for us in the time of the goal as well was 
it was really good for us. So yeah, really pleased he got a, off the mark. Okay, I'd like to ask Wayne about Father Penny and, and Grimshaw yeah, signing. Yeah, outside. Yeah, because Marty's yeah. waiting in the back. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I'm I'm really close friends with Tom Cody. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> depends, depends, depends <laughs> yeah, I've been on holiday with Tom, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, we're real real close. Tom's a young player who got into Manchester United team when I was there and we've been on many holidays together, yeah. He's a very good friend, yeah. Is that, is that, is that, is that makes him out to more difficult for the football club? No, I want to beat him. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm sure he's, well, I know he'll be exactly the same. Um, we want to beat each other. That's, that's football. I'm a film tag guy. He's at Watford. And, um, but yeah, he's a very good friend, yeah. How did you become friends with him? Is this just Man United playing together? Or? Yeah, I played with him many times for Manchester United. Um, played with him many what? times for England. Um, I actually got the assist for his first goal for Man United because he always thanks me for that. <laughs> no, but I'm delighted with the the point. I think um, again, sometimes when you put that work in, that effort in, you you need to. Sutton as well, you hope the decision go your way, so I'm a bit disappointed for that point of view, but I think the lads showed everything, um, and I'm sure every fan, um, who, again, fans were fantastic today, the, the, I think they left at 4 a.m. this morning to come support the team, and myself and the players are really grateful for that, and, and they really pushed us on towards the end when we needed them, so, um, but I'm sure all the fans who left the stadium today will be delighted with the character we've seen today. We'll leave it there, we'll just finish up that. Cheers. Cheers.